The news flow actually began Sunday night when we posted a Nintendo Direct hosted by Mr. Iwata. It demonstrates how Wii U can not only open up new forms of gaming, but also act as a unique social window, connecting you to your gaming friends with a game-based experience. The key that unlocks it all, of course, is the new controller, the Wii U gamepad. And this week, you'll begin to understand the new disruption called asymmetric gameplay. This means putting one player with the gamepad in a solitary role, competing differently, maybe even winning in a different way, pitting just you against everyone else. And I'm happy to announce, just like the original Nintendo Entertainment System, the Wii U hardware will support two separate gamepads. Now, this week we're focusing on single gamepad challenges, but look for dual gamepad experiences in the future. Right now, we'd like to make a proper introduction to the Wii U gamepad itself. So let's start with a quick guided tour. The Wii U gamepad offers simple and intuitive control. The touchscreen works with your fingertip, or more precisely, with the included stylus. There's the familiar plus control pad and A, B, X, and Y buttons. Games featuring a deeper, more immersive experience will frequently employ the left and right analog sticks. Each has a button underneath, which is activated by pressing down on the stick. On the back side of the controller are trigger-like ZL and ZR buttons. They sit comfortably under the index fingers when holding the game pad, acting as de facto triggers in many shooting games. The L and R buttons are on the shoulders, and between them is the infrared transceiver. Motion control using the accelerometer and gyroscope is built into the gamepad, as is a rumble feature. The built-in camera and microphone will be used for a variety of software applications, including voice and video chat. There are stereo speakers, a headphone jack, and volume control that can adjust sound on the gamepad or on your full screen TV. Finally, the home button. It can suspend a game to check for updates or connect with your friends.